I wanted to see what was going on with Elestrals, and it's just sad. No one actually cares about the game. A-Drive has purely become an Elestrals shill bot. There's also a lot of other sketchy things going on, and it really just like that child targeting and exploitation I touched on with my video last year, when like this whole Kickstarter thing blew up, and it just doesn't seem like it's gotten any better, and I want to go over all the nonsense. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, share it with the friends, and comment your thoughts down below. So I was looking at the Illustrals channel, and aside from the viewership, the content itself is just clickbait garbage because there is no substance here. It's just A Drive's lies and clickbait from Pokemon carried over into a cash grab that has no value whatsoever. Like, can I draw the one card I need to beat the best player in the world? The game isn't even out yet. Like, yes, people are now getting their products, but like at this time, it was like all this weird exclusive content where it's like, I made the game, so I'm going to use all the combos that I learned in research and development to make clickbait to have the best content about the game. That is the scummiest stuff, but then I remember it was made by A-Drive. This deck makes everyone rage quit, so if anyone actually cared about the game or wanted to play the game, now it's making clickbait content to try to get people to buy more products so they can get the chase cards inside of it. If you're not using this card, you're making a mistake. This amazing card nobody is using. Yes, nobody is using it because no one has the product and no- actually no one's just playing the game to begin with. First ever Elestral's opening? Yeah, and that's like first ever unboxing epic pack battles where it's like, yeah, he has all the exclusive content. It really shows A-Drive has no care for the product whatsoever when he's only using it to shill like he does for his fake Pokemon content. Uh, this- if this YouTube short doesn't pop off, I'm going to eat a sock. So trying to just be like, our rare cards are better because they're serialized, even though Magic the Gathering is doing serialization as well. And, you know, kind of the allure of something like a base set Charizard or first edition Charizard or a beta Alpha Black Lotus is that no one really knows how many are left. And that's kind of like how old cards, even going back to like Mickey Mantle rookie cards and baseball cards and stuff, like that's where the value is. And just because a card is serialized doesn't mean it's going to be, like, super valuable. There's a lot of other things at play. We have the Power 9 in Magic, and at the top of it is the Black Lotus. So we just have, like, crazy powerful cards or crazy nostalgic cards. So if one of the characters that is serialized from Elestrals is either not good competitively or doesn't really, like, stand out, then, yeah, you got the bad one that isn't worth anything. And then there might be, like, one or two chases, or it's all worthless because no one cares about the game. So, yeah, if this YouTube short doesn't pop off, I'm going to eat a sock. 60,000 views. The short itself, 1.7k. So, almost no conversion from Twitter, no conversion on YouTube, and YouTube shorts get, like, automatic boosting, and it still didn't, like, pop off at all. So, yeah, that did terrible. 2.5k, so just really no interest whatsoever and not even like a, a flash virality that gets people that from outside of pokemon or in the collectible card game sphere to get interested in like oh yeah this could be like the next flesh and blood you know we got an upcomer no one respects illustrals which is why it's going to be worthless and this is also why we're not even seeing legitimate brands tga partnership with a drive buy stock in companies that sell red flags because i'm running out is illustrals so illegitimate that PSA or Beckett wouldn't pick him up. And then like this TGA thing is just really predatory going after the children that think their Pokemon cards are going to be worth something because you actually get them graded in some capacity, even though it's not the gradings that matter. It's cheaper to bait in children and Timmy's and there's no credibility or collectability behind it. So it's just like really sketchy that the fraud A drive is going so hard with TGA cards over this, and it just does not give any legitimacy to Illustrals. So, yeah, and then, like, apparently there's been a lot of this going on with Pokemon's TCG for a few years. Got my first ever pull graded, got it back today. What a beautiful card. A 9.5 TGA, that's just... Might as well just be in a regular sleeve. So many random grading companies lately, I think a top loader looks better. Every time I see a CGC slab, I cringe, looks like it was designed by a high school student. And people are like, oh, but TGA looks so cool because you get like the custom slab. And it's like, but that just shows that's more of a gimmick than anything. Uh, we got some other ones, which, you know, TGA card grading, what do you guys think? 
PSA or Beckett or none. Could not agree more. That's it. Like I see some of the grading companies post on here and I just shake my head. Anything besides BGS, PSA, and CGC is just for your own amusement. And that's where it is. Now, I don't believe in CGC. It's also weird that, like, all these CGC shills keep popping up in these kinds of threads. And I guess they're trying to give their value because they're like, oh, I went with CGC. But no, it's, it's, if it's not BGS or PSA, nothing. I wanted to see how the Kickstarter updates were going, and this is just as sketchy as everything else. So we have update answering your toughest questions as CEO of Elestrals. Here we go. We got an, oh, it's a video. Oh, wait, 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 we have some text. Oh, wait, the, we just get timestamps to the video about the answers. So just more of a cash grab, just needing that desperate viewership and ad revenue instead of just kind of like answering it to where anyone that's curious of the product or might have doubts about the product can just see it without having to watch a cringe video. Awesome. I mean, it's a Pokemon content creator trying to take the bag on a TCG. Of course he copied Pokemon. But this reaction makes it look like no, he's going to be dismissive of that claim, isn't he? A uh, huge production update for Elestrals. People want to know where their cards are, when they're getting them. It's a video and no text. Any chance for a text update, please? It's so sketchy, dude. I went to the Elestrals website. There's a tab for shops. I was wondering, like, oh, are they actually, like, selling product through their shop outside of Kickstarter now that things are being distributed? And the thing about Kickstarter was it was all just a FOMO drive as well, which also seemed incredibly predatory. You gotta get the Founders Edition, guys. This is Alpha Magic the Gathering. This is first edition Pokemon all over again. Never happening. This is your only time to get it. Kickstarter exclusives. And by the way, when you buy here, you go to the next page of extras, which is just even more stuff. That extras page was just wild. I've never seen any serious Kickstarter do that, and people try to defend it, even though, again, like, that's something that no one else does. And outside of Kickstarter, when you go to the shopping page from the website, there's no product, just really lazy apparel. You can't even see the commercial things being offered even for a back order or anything. If I want to play this game because it starts popping off, where do I find it? So I'm out of red flags, guys. It, it's kind of crazy. Uh, I went to the Illustral's Twitter, and it's just one of those things where it's like, all right, congrats to Discord user for pulling the first ever stellar Quackle. So you got to get in on it, guys. You got to be the first stellar pool. You have to have your stellar pool documented. You know, these serialized cards. Number 13. The funny thing is no one cares about Elestral, so it would actually be possible to kind of like go through, see how much product people got on Kickstarter, even though it doesn't really like count the extras, get an idea of the print run, and then actually like find out how common the stellars are, and then that's just going to tank the value even more. Because again, like just because something is serialized doesn't mean it's going to have value. Um, don't you miss when hollow cards were actually rare? Recent tweet showing someone that pulled a ton of hollows. So there's 36 packs in a box. This dude got a hollow in one in three packs. Pokemon odds. Once again, just more sketchiness by like having lower odds for hollows. They're trying to give it that collector value because that's the big thing making some Pokemon pop off but they also want it to be a card game that you actually play and that's also going to try to drive sales and, and, and instead you just get something that's a clear cash grab that has no identity that no one is taking seriously and it's just children and idiots that fall for it again the same kind of people that fall for a drives blatant lies and clickbait through all of this fake content See, so yeah, I haven't opened a pack of any kind of TCG since I was like 12 in 2005. My first order arrived today. It was only one booster box. My second order is a lot more hollow pools from the first one. Like, why say this, dude? That's an unimaginably sad life to where like you want so much attention. Like, I only got one box, but don't worry. Don't worry. Don't get mad at me for only getting one box. I'm so sorry. I actually got a lot more in the second order. Here, here, look at what I got. Look at you, look at the product. We can also easily find more proof that no one actually cares about Illustrals the game. They're all just trying to sit on it as the next Alpha Magic the Gathering, the next Pokemon base set. This is your time to get in and have something that's gonna be worth so much money down the road. My Kickstarter order came in today. I want to open them so bad, but I also want to keep them pristine. 
But, I mean, if this is your Kickstarter order, this is supposed to be like it. This is where you open everything, you put together your deck. Remember, A-Drive is telling you exactly what's broken and exactly the chase cards you need to have to then be the best and beat the best player in the world. So that means, like, you should be opening the product. You should be, like, trying to find other people to play it. But no one's opening product. No one's actually playing the game because it's already just like a dead game that's hoping to become a collector item at one day at some point. So excited to finally have Elestrals in my hands. The quality and attention to detail is unmatched. And this is also why I cannot trust anything from an A-Drive fan, because if you actually look at the quality and attention to detail, the cards don't look so good. Like this is posted on the official account and you can see fraying on the edges of the cards like the cards are just not cut great or again it's a bad card stock so it's not going to cut well and all the hollow cards are already significantly bent yeah hollow cards can have a little bit of bend to them but this is looking like old school hollow cards like whenever someone gets upset at a low quality print run of magic where it's like they just don't even care anymore i've already got a taco of a card that's like looking what's immediately happening with the illustral cards uh, so we got this, hey, A-Drive just wrapped up my small unboxing. Uh, the quality of these cards, the art, the names, I would call this 10 out of 10. Wonderful start to the franchise. Ah, yes, because the pun names are so good. That That's 10 out of 10. I know, I know I'm nobody special, but this is really amazing. Also, these are my favorite cards in the Founders promo. But the cards just look like knockoffs. We got fraying on the edges. We got very visible bins, even on like flat pictures of the cards. And it, it really just kind of seems like oversaturation on the printing. We're just like, see, that that's supposed to look pretty and cool. So it's like just designed to kind of mask the rest of the quality control er issues. Elestral's made it to Hawaii. Just got my founder set and couldn't be happier. Super high quality and the art style is gorgeous. It's really just children that are like ooh, it's pretty and colorful and the the art looks so clear therefore it's actually super high quality like the highest quality 10 out of 10 when again like the cards are already curling and I, I have a hard time trusting anyone that's like reviewing the product because they're invested now like this has to work for them they had to give up their christmas and birthday money for this and because they're on twitter all day they're thinking like oh minimum wage needs to be a living wage minimum wage also needs to go up there's no chance for our generation to actually like survive in the real world so this is my shot you missed bitcoin you never understood when nft was you missed out on like the pokemon magic gathering tcg boom now is your time to be rich and never have any problems again because you backed a drives kickstarter therefore it's perfect it's amazing. A Drive has never lied or clickbaited, and this is going to be a rival to Pokemon because it's so legitimate and my cards look so pretty. So there we go, guys. That's what's going on with Elestrals. Hasn't really gotten any better. Hasn't gotten like any steam or traction or pickup. It just seems to be like sad and less people caring about it, even as product is shipping out, which is something that these weirdos are also attacking me over they're like you're wrong for listening this is slander because people are getting their cards already that wasn't the point of my video that was one of like the 10 red flags where i was just like and eh, i wouldn't be surprised if there was a delay like you usually see with this cool he shipped the product when he said he was going to ship it did the bare minimum I never suggested Elestrals could be a scam because you're going to get your cards a couple months late. It's the predatory marketing around a worthless product. This is Beanie Babies, except like not even close to the hype of Beanie Babies. This is Mighty Beans, except I think Mighty Beans is more successful or will be more like Elestrals will be less successful than Mighty Beans ever was. I consider A-Drive, the creator, to be a fraud for most of his YouTube career. That it's all fake content and lies. There is no care for his audience on his channel because it's only about farming as much clicks as possible with fake information or misleading context where it's like, we got a new Pokemon! Epic new Pokemon discovered! Oh wait, it's actually just like a ROM hack. And then everything else is clickbaiting, fake leaks, and false information. New starters, guys! Even though this isn't even Pokemon. And then just like taking whatever, taking money from any business that'll offer it to them and so on and so forth. 
Oh yeah, and I also forgot to mention that he already has experience grifting in TCG when he did it during the Pokemon boom and was overcharging for box breaks because it's only about the money with him. Find that video in the description down below. Or a card, I don't know. I've been calling it out for years, so naturally when he makes a product that's effectively a physical version of how he makes his YouTube content, yeah, there's not going to be any value to it. So I'm also going to be weary of that because I love Pokemon more than any other content creator because I'm the only one calling out the BS and trying to have any integrity in this community. So yeah, Illustrials is sad. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.